So I've got the room next to yours, remember? I can hear you. Play my music. You know what I'm talking about. At night's getting sick and that. I'm not sick. Come on. I'm not. I'm afraid I'm here to tell you that your wife was involved in a serious accident earlier this afternoon. And I'm so sorry to have to say that she has died as a result of her injuries. Mr. Aldrich, do you understand what I'm saying to you? I think we never should have left Leicester. It was Derek that wanted to come down south, make his fortune. He ran a karaoke club up there. Always thought he could be a singer. Oh, we found him in his car, Miss Island. It must have been on his way home. Uh, no, um, yeah, he wasn't alone. Well, he, he wasn't cheating. He wouldn't do that to me. This is Wilson. Mrs. Wilson, it's Stacy, your nurse. Am I all right to come up? Have you told them about it? No. Why not? I don't know. I suppose I should have. I don't know why I didn't. Actually, yeah, I do know, because I think you should. I know what I do is disgusting. I'm disgusting. Yeah, it is disgusting. Mind you, I do some pretty disgusting things myself. Do you? Yeah. What? I can't tell you. No, what is it? I stick my hands down toilets, and on a good day, I might get bitten by a rat. <laughs> I thought it was just a phase. You know, something that... something that he had to get out of his system when we moved. He didn't love any of them, he loved me. And it... it would have stopped once we were engaged. It would have. It's just that he was waiting for the right moment to ask. You can't live here anymore, Sophie. I'm asking you to leave. And I'm asking you to unask me. This isn't a joke. You have to go. I oh, claim squatters, right? That's illegal. As are you. You're making no sense. You must be in shock. No, you must be. You must be absolutely mad to think that I ever wanted to live here anyway. It should be easy then. No, what would have been easy, Sarah, would be for you to have a little bit of decency. I've been more than fair. A little bit of respect for me and the absolutely shit time I've been having lately.